MJ from the Cubs Cuts. Welcome back to another episode of Dong and Rumba V3 Killing Harmony. Now, I have to admit something to you all, and I'm very sad about it. First of all, I just want to say thank you all for hitting 50,000 likes on the last video so fast. You guys hit it so fast that the next day I was like, okay, let's get into it. Let's finish the third class trial. And I actually did that, but I was so stupid and I accidentally deleted the audio for it and I couldn't recover it. I tried for the next hour trying to recover the audio, but for some reason, when you record the audio on the program that I record the audio on, um, once you click no to not saving it, it deletes everything. Like there's no way to recover it. So I was so disappointed in that. But you know what? There are people who have never seen this series before and are going through it the way that I'm going through it for the first time. I know who the culprit is. I know how the execution plays out and that part is over. Like the element of surprise is over for me. But I know that there are some people out there that have never seen this before and I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for all the people out there that have never seen this before. So I'm gonna go back and do a whole hour and a half of recording the same exact thing I just got done recording an hour and a half for. But you know what? The show must go on. And to all the people who hit 50,000 likes, don't worry about it. I'm going to upload the next part after the trial as soon as I can. I promise you, I'm going to make it all up to you for my mistake for not saving the audio. So we're going to go through the whole thing again. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Da, da, da. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Uh-huh. Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Sure she did. Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Jeez. Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Yep, no way. Then she I didn't believe for a second herself. in the last episode that Himiko Otherwise, was the culprit. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already. She's too small to do that seesaw thing, which is still ridiculous, by the way. Listening? That was a ridiculous death. That seesaw thing? No, I'm not listening. What? I, I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I'm not. I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. That's so dumb, though, because if they vote for her, obviously it's going to be wrong, so everybody dies. Uh, but she says she don't care. Really blah if the so if she don't care, she don't care. It. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Kimiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Just shut up. <laughs> I told you. Too tired. It hits different when you know what's happening. It is a little pain. different. I can't... Oh, sorry. My bad. About? My fat you finger pressed up here. on accident. You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Like I mentioned in the last episode, Cory Kenshin Kyo, prime suspect. That's the person that Impossible. I'm thinking of. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person. Gota can tell by Himiko's face. Himiko's a little slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. Please? <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. I agree, Gonta. So no give up, Himiko. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. He barely knew her, though. He knew her for like three minutes. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up. For the sake of everyone who died. Oh, yeah? What's Rontaro's ultimate ability, huh, Shuichi? For the sake of everyone who died? The ultimate who gives a crap about him? All right, so let me see if I remember what this is. Let me channel my that dude energy. This one is, uh, hold on, let me make sure. Let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. I think it's hole in the corner. Maybe, maybe. Why did you select the middle Hole in the corner. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? I just played this not too long ago. Like freaking five days ago. Maybe trap two. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no? even if Himiko picked the room, 
someone else could have set that trap. Mm -hmm. Your opinions are empty words. Hmm. Okay, I need to think. If the culprit's plan were to make Kimiko a suspect, they might have persuaded her to choose that room somehow. Okay, let me lock in Why hole in corner. Like and let me shoot at Gonta State. Because you laid your trap there. Because I think that's what daddy liked. Was trap only in that room? Okay, let me get ready to slow this thing down. Other rooms, me. Trap. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. No! What? You know what? I'm Was pretty sure it's Bloody Kokichi. I swear it's Bloody Kokichi. Other rooms, maybe trap And I too. swear it's this too. It was that! I agree! Didn't I shoot Bloody Kokichi at that statement? I got consent though! You always gotta get consent! Remember that, tell my like young whippersnappers out there! Each room was the same. I they were all I trapped. Shot that. Bro! What? Is that true? I shot that bullet at that statement. I know Kukichi it, I can't miss! I can't even miss if I tried! Come on, Kokichi. He was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you His voice about? actually is growing on me. I was way too careless. Oh my god, I'm so bloody in the face. I guess there was no cross piece supporting the floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck. Yeah, Kokichi's my guy now. Why I don't call anybody my guy, Kokichi, scene. my guy. found a loose floorboard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. Oh, uh, yo, clumsy ass. What? Hold on. There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. All right. So it doesn't really matter what they chose in, in the all end. The rooms, and they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Yes, we were, Cory Kenshin Kyo. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Yeah, she said, Shuru. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please? She didn't say pretty please, though. Live life you gotta add the pretty in front forward. of the please. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Yeah, and you're not a backstabber, are you, Himiko? We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. He barely knew Kaede, though. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. Like, my guy acting like a tier 3 sub for Kaede. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. Yeah. For the firemen. Yeah. You gotta do it for the firemen. Right. Yeah. That's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right. So let's do our best. Yeah, Gonta. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore. All right. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Do not say everyone. After all, the blackened is still among us. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. He just being factual. But damn, well said, Shuichi. <laughs> but damn! Back for my soul, bro. Your soul, bro? Well, anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. <laughs> Isn't it weird that no one stepped actually through that floorboard that. <laughs> before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Oh, that's it. That must be the reason. Because it was pulled on... Let me see. Because the sound during the seance. Blah, blah, blah. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Why am I messing up now? I actually remember what it was. Let me see. There you go. This is it. Yeah, buddy. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. 
Yeah, so he didn't want anyone coming near there. He was trying to strike fear into their eyes. Or into their hearts. He didn't want anyone checking up on her. question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. Yeah. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trip. Mm-hmm. That was part of the culprit's plans, too? Saying that if they stepped on the salt, then they would potentially get cursed. And nobody wants to get cursed. So none of the students tried to go inside the circle, which is where the loose floorboard was. That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit... There's no doubt in my mind. They're the one who killed Tanko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. We already know who it is, everybody. Come on. I mean, I know I just got done playing this, but even the last episode... It I was has like, to be you. It's gotta be you. It's gotta be you! You an imposter, bro! Kyo, this man. Was it you? Like, it was so obvious. Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Like, it was so freaking obvious. This is the most obvious killer in Danganronpa history. Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. Yeah, very but clever, that's not Corey. All it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. Uh huh. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Factual, Shuichi. Factual. Well, Kyo. Answer already! Did you do it? No culprit ever admits. <laughs> like this dude just threw some kihi is at us. <laughs> you see some kihihihis. What is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. All right, How let's could go. I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. The culprit stepped on that exact floorboard, even in darkness. But how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I can move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it. The culprit didn't even have to see at all. They used... How did the culprit find the seesaw in the darkness? Touch, of course. That's it! Because if you can't see, what else the are you gonna do? The culprit used touch. You know, your sense of they touch to move see. around. Like, close your they eyes. Felt. You feel things. You kind of feel where their position is. You know what I'm saying? That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Yeah, sure, Kokichi, Wasn't sure. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Right. Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course, the answer to that is there was nothing of the sort. Are you sure about that big guy? You sure about that big guy? A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. It must have been at the scene. I know it. Yeah, you know it. Hangman's Gambit start. All right. It was... Oh, we know what it was. We know what it was. Oh, what the heck? I didn't even get to see what the letters were. Come on, man. I'm blind out here. I can't see shit. Hold up. Let me see. It was Magic Circle. Yeah, Magic Circle is the word, everybody. That's it. The Magic Circle. Can you remember? The Magic Circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I thought feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Uh huh. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. Yeah, to lead you to the middle of the floorboard. 
An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. Is it now? What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Look like shit. Look at that. Ew. It's document, just gross to look the at. Magic circle wouldn't reach the corners. Anybody want to look at that circle? It's not even a nice circle. Looking like Dollar Tree Pac-Man. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? Mm -hmm. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. Hey, Himiko, just come in here no, with the facts. I most definitely drew it exactly the same. Like, have... she woke up and uh, chose facts. So which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salt all but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention please? Hmm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse me everyone, may I have your attention please? <laughs> Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Kokichi is such a dick. Hey, may I have your attention? Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. I'm listening. About what? I'm a Kibo fan. I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. What the? No way! Did you really... I didn't install it for that purpose! Please, let me use it! With it, I might be able to save everyone. Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. Image recording? Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. That's actually so dope. I'll give it a try. Ready? I also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the sands. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. That's actually so uh, dope. Okay, got it. So that means the paper is inside of his throat the whole time until somebody prints something out? I reluctantly took the paper from Kibo's mouth. So this is the magic circle used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Do any of you notice anything? Notice anything. Did you see it? Tell me you saw it. Tell me you saw it! Because I'm about to there. point it out right now. You guys saw that line? That shit was like a conga line to that this little This helped a lot, Kibo. Are you kidding Without me? you, I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Hey, you freaking My liar. Lie. You freaking non-truther. You drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bake that line. Bake that the stinky hairy line. The scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. Mm -hmm. Didn't even matter where he stood either. So it was different from the document after all. Like he put a line in every corner. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo too. Yeah. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... <sighs> analyze my turds! Hey, you gotta respect Mew for having our priorities in order. Your what? Why? Like, you gotta respect the girl who's not afraid to admit that she takes big, fast, pinky dumps. And gut bacteria quality! Mm-hmm. Proud of you. Plus, Proud of you. A satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... No lies. Hey, she don't tell lies. You're all grossed out. This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan. You have to poop regularly, you know? Quit to maintain that good gut poop. health. No one cares. Because sometimes you get that buildup. You killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. Yeah, do it. So, Kyo. If you have any objections, you can- Your deductions are Of course fiction. he does, right? Of course he does. Well, luckily for him, I'm locked and loaded, baby! I'm ready! Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. This dude really honest, thinks she's sweet out here! 
but it may be an amusing diversion. Okay. Unimportant. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. I will. Entertain is my middle name. Like I said, I'm locked and loaded. My mind is jogging again. I think I know what bullet I'm gonna use, but let's see. Um If you are going to claim I am white the culprit, sheets, I think. Hold on. Then what if I'm the up? weapon? You slap it a piece of pie. It was set up. A ya baldi? Oh! Only people capable of that. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Oh! Uh. A Kokichi and Shuichi who carry the cake. So suspicion should fall on them. Is that? Okay. True, I think it's white sheet. the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Yeah, 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 yeah. White because sheet. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. Mm hmm the only person who could have collected the sickle is he. But the only people who could have placed the Bam, sickle Bam, wham, cham. I don't even know what a cham is. I just said it though. Okay? I'm out here making up I words. I did not carry the cage. Nor did I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. Shut up! Yeah! I'll cut he you said your he words. had no opportunity to get rid of the sickle. But that white sheet tells a different story. The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Keo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. That's real slick, too. To do it that fast. And then, and while everyone was distracted, you discreetly drop the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. What? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? Because they always love giving us a hard time. Every single black. The trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. So, it was you? You killed Tinkle? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talking about, Kyo? <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko, that is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Yeah, we gotta figure out who killed Angie, not Tanko. First come, first serve rule. Ah, that's right. What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. So basically, you, you can just see somebody die and then kill Tenko, somebody real quick after a body is discovered, right? For us, According to that Tenko's rule, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Like, let's say everybody came to see Angie's body at once. Then I could basically bonk somebody on the head and kill them right in front of everybody, and nobody can do anything about it. Unless I caught two bodies. Like, the first body and the second body. But let's because just say, you know, I didn't kill Angie. The then I could just Angie. get away with the second one in front of everybody scot-free. It's such a, a dumb rule. Trivial issue? No. That's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. Stay persistent, Himiko. You're the one who killed Tenko. You gotta be the one who killed Angie! I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Of course I understand! I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. He is chill. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? 
How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Nuts to that. Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Well, let's yeah, get some facts in. There's sort of no other way to look at it. Come on, let's get some no, facts in. Too let's lock and load before we arrive at a I logical decision. I want to shoot some decision. truth bullets. is getting intense at times like this. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own More Phenomenal Trial Grounds. I love this part. More Phenomenal Trial Grounds have been my favorite part of this game, hands down. All right, so let's focus. Let's see if I remember this. Debate scrum starts. Keo killed Tinko and Angie. Keo killed Kibo. We don't know for certain that Keo killed Angie. Forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. Angie, I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. Oh, give me some, give me some, give me some. But give me some. Was found in Keo's lab. Lab. Keo. Anyone could have entered my lab. So got Keo him. did kill Tanko, but he not blackened. Kokichi, perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the Hell mystery yeah, of Tenko's death. I Hell yeah, this. boy. Not yet. One take Jason There's the still building. another Wait. mystery to solve. Yeah, yeah, One take Jason the building. I heard him knocking. He just answered the door. He said, oh, sh what the? I totally forgot about this thing. Gotta button match my balls off. This is our answer. Yeah. Yeah, this has been my favorite thing of this game so far. These little more phenomenal trial grounds. I feel like a mistake a to lot. vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tanko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Yes, the outline piece of evidence at Tango's murder scene. It was, let me tell you, give me one second, everybody. It was the dried blood under the this floor. Couldn't have been Tango's because Tango was a fresh kill. The, the blood, blood still should have been like, you know, kind of like Maki this. and I found it you know during I mean? the investigation. Like not dry, opposite of dry, wetty. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that? Tenko's blood? That bloodstain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the bloodstain was already dry when we found it. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Mm -hmm. Well, that's weird. Why was that bloodstain the only dry one? Because it wasn't hers! The bloodstain under the floorboard was dry because... It happened before the seance. It was there before Tenko was killed. Yes. Wait, what? That wasn't it? Bro, I'm a wrong. Dumas? I'm a Dumas! Okay, it happened before the seance? That's it! Okay, I was gonna say, was it the air is dry? That was the last option, the right? That was the dumbest option. wasn't from Tanko's murder. I thought I was about that life. It was there before oh. we started the One seance. One take, Jay just left. He said, I'm out of here. He said, it's some bull. That should make it clear whose blood it was. The bloodstain from before the seance. It has to be them. Who else? That's it. Besides Angie. You know, nobody else died. That bloodstain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so fair game again. Didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it. I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well. 
I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. <laughs> Freaking lion ass dude. Have business in the rooms? <laughs> It seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. Like, he's funny, but he derails the investigation and all these class trials so much. <laughs> he's just a little I do troll. A lot. And Him I could his be little lying right now, too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. And that's the reason why I like that he does that, because he makes the actual person, you know, quiver in fear a little bit. Angie left their lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true, or is he a big old bullshitter? Well, I'm gonna go with the latter, but you know what? He is right. Just because he told that lie, the now the actual killer is kind of rethinking because they're like, wait, did Kokichi really see me? So let me see what this is. She was killed in the empty room instead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She left her lab on her own? I think it's but why would she go Necronomicon? Into an empty wait, what's Necronomicon again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was this. Okay, I think it was this. There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! Yeah, she did. Give me that consent. I agree. Give me that consent. So to perform the ritual with the Necronomicon, you need to burn the book to ashes. Where do you burn That's the book it. to ashes? And she well, went to wherever there's a fire. A candle. The candle had fire, right? Yeah, for kinky wax play. And that. Uh, no. Angie was going to use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. We out here murdering everybody in the then, group, and the book is worried about so carbon monoxide poisoning. That's cute. That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. Uh huh. And that's when the culprit attacked her. So she was that's just in there minding her own business. Under floor. The blackened clapped. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. Mm -hmm. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just picked one. Well, you got lucky. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. He does have a point. Like, how are you going to kill I someone somewhere, alive after drag their body, the empty room. and then expect there to be no blood? Mm hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. Yes, the evidence is this right here. What? It's not. Okay, proof that the person was attacked twice. Okay, let me think. Let me really think. Okay? Because I kind of forgot. So let me see. Proof that she was attacked twice, you say. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Forehead injury. This is it! There you go. See, I shouldn't be trying to move too fast. The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck. From that was my bad, everybody. I apologize. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. And I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Ha! It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off. 
all clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear? What is all clear? Hey, they say it's all clear. It's all clear. What is... What are you... All clear? All clear. What are... You all... You... You what? What? What are... I will not fear. I will not back down. Yeah. Sweet Correggio, calm yourself. Okay, I want to mention something before we continue. When I saw him pull his mask down and started talking in like this other persona, I was kind of like, what the hell is happening right now? The but since I know what's happening, hollow. I'm keeping it 100%. No and I'm not going to be like, ooh, eh. But yeah, the first time I did it, I was like, who the heck? What? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Y yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. I mean, you can't deny, though. The lipstick matches the eyes perfectly. What the you hell know? are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies. <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. All clear. It's full of doubts. It's all clear. Of mysteries. Of a dense, impenetrable fog. Nothing is clear at all. Hey, my man's is, my man's is out here just talking nonsense. He was like, all clear. All clear. What is all clear? Angie was attacked in the empty okay, room first. Dice it. And dice and then it. carried into the research lab. Uh, shabang bang. Impossible. Impossible. Okay, let me lock That's in bloody That's nothing but a delusion! Blam! You would tend to poison Ooh, our mind uh, with your uh, delusions? Uh, uh, uh. Bam! Slicing these big ass words. It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. Yeah, they do. Tell them, After she was struck in the empty room, tell him. she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. Mm -hmm. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? Yeah. And not a single drop of blood fell? Uh-uh. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Yeah. Even if you wipe them down later, Ooh. there'd still be traces of evidence Give left behind. Some. But there was no evidence anywhere. Yes, there was. There, Shuichi. Shut your ass up. Do your words. You know what I do. You know what I do. Come on now. Now I'm getting into it. There was evidence Wait, I hear him. left at the scene. Oh, one take. Jay's back in the building. Under I heard a body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Uh-huh. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. Oopsie! <laughs> Since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. Guess the culprit wasn't a slick after it all, huh? It was as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. Must have been. <laughs> what? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. All right, we're going to do it again. Going to do it again. Two for the price of one. For the fireman. It has we to do be this you. shit for the fireman. Let's go. I got to get Kyo. away with this. You killed Angie. Hey. You hit the hey. Hey. So it's true. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. I know, right? That's what I said. I was like, this shit was so obvious. Why did you kill them? Like, before the trial even started, everybody was pointing the finger at him. In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you kill them both? He was horny for some kills. I think <laughs> one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? The murder that was an accident. The murder was Angie's. That's it. She wasn't meant to be killed. Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tanko wasn't accident? Wrong place, That's wrong right. time. As he they say. originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. She just 
happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. But he did it. He did he? Empty. There was no reason for him to kill Tinkle. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. It really is, though. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it... Calm yourself, Karekio. Yes. This mother sucker, bro. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. This mother sucker, this sucker mother. You're right. Yeah. You're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. He's just vibing right now. He's just doing his thing. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? Why not? <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. For you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. No, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Correggio. Yes, thanks. <laughs> the first time I saw that, when the match just came on and he switched voices, I was laughing my ass off. And it actually still is funny just seeing the mask go on when he's switching the personas without him even touching anything. That guy touching himself. Creeps me the fuck out. <laughs> no evidence. There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. And tell him, Shuichi. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Kyo. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 Come on. Apologize. 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 It's like a little kid when you take their ice cream from them. Seriously. Like, come what on, apologize. Apologize, apologize. I have no idea what's happening with Kyo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. But first, you have to apologize. Apologize, apologize, apologize. Oh, this thing again? Have nothing to admit. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, let's no shut this man up. Is the killer. Remove floorboard. It Bam! Here. Come on, Corey Kenshin. Kyo, you know who you're dealing with? Kyo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. <laughs> I see. And how do you know the floorboard was a murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Mm -hmm. It would have been on top of the floorboard because it wouldn't have been removed. Is further evidence that the floorboard was used. But the fact that there was blood underneath the floorboard means that there was a hole there, and that was why the weapon was used the way it was used, or not the way it the was used. used. You know what I mean? Let me just shut up. I'm dumber every time I open my mouth. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw. So the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
It's one of the most extra slash realistic screams I've ever heard in my damn life. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. Bro, if somebody caught me holding a fat ass floorboard in my hands, I'd be just like, <laughs> you know, just typical Friday night, you know what I'm saying? With a floorboard. Like I would have just played it off. Wouldn't have bonked her on the head for it. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Like my thing is, Corey Kenshin Kyo did not kill anybody yet. Angie might have caught him holding the floorboard and planning the seesaw trick, but he didn't kill anybody yet. You know, Angie could have reported to everybody, hey, I saw Corey doing this weird thing, but he didn't kill anybody. So he could have just played it off like he wasn't going to do anything. But I guess his intention all along was to kill somebody doing the seesaw trick. But what I'm trying to say is he didn't kill anybody yet, so he could have just said, like, you know what, I'm going to scrap this seesaw trick plan. Let's just keep doing our thing, then potentially getting caught. But instead, he caught two bodies. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi, I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Leave it to me. Shuichi, please put an end to this. We got this. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. All right, no edit Jay's in the building. I'm going to just try to I'll do this one take. One more time. Okay. Let's see if I remember it. I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Every time he does that point, I notice like a little nail on top of his index finger. I kind of want to just click that shit for some reason. So let's see, who saw the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Is there a picture of Angie here? Um, nope, not yet. Okay, so let's go here. What weapon knocked Angie unconscious? The removed floorboard, of course. Okay, let's do this one. What was compressing the injury on Angie's head while she was carried? Let's see. It was the stuck duct tape. Let's go to this panel. What weapon killed Angie? Wait, what weapon killed Angie? What the heck? Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Kaede, but that's not unlocked yet. The handle of the spinning katana for your mama. Bam! Told you one take J's in the building. One edit J. I mean, not one edit J. No edit J's in the building. When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? My guy Kokichi, but that's not unlocked yet. What object did Tenko rest her forehead on during the seance? It was this thing, of course. The small stone. There you go. That's what Daddy likes. What weapon did the culprit set up on the iron cage? The dog statue. The dog statue is not here yet. Who besides Kokichi was responsible for extinguishing the candles? Shuichi was. But he's not unlocked it either. How was the culprit able to move around in the darkness during the seance? The path made with salt. When the culprit approached the cage, he, um... I don't remember. How did the magic circle get erased? Oh, okay. Wait, I think this is it. I have to do the sickle place to kill. <gasps> I got it wrong? I got it wrong! Your boy got it wrong! All right, what weapon did the culprit? Oh, wow. See, that's what happens when I can't read. Oh, okay. When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? What's this one? Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? That's not it. What weapon killed Angie? That. Okay, now we got it. My fault, everybody. So let's see. Shuichi extinguished the flames. Okay, it's right over here. So let's get Shuichi blown out a candle. Okay. When the culprit approached the cage, what did they do? Footsteps contaminating the scene. Stomp hard on the floorboard. There you go. Got him. Did the seesaw trick. How did the magic circle get erased? It's because everybody was stepping their nasty gross feet on it. Cut cross piece under the floor. Which one is that? Is that it? When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? It was Kokichi and his excellent lock picking. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? It was Kaede. Gotta unlock that. So, blah, blah, am. And we got one more for the homie DJ Screw. You know we gotta do it for the fireman. Last this is the truth no of the case. In the building. I did get one wrong though. Did the camera stop again? Hi everybody. Yeah, Let's fun. look back Damn, at I the got first one here on lock today, on super lock. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. Yes, they were. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. You imagine? They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. <laughs> yeah, she was just out there minding her own business. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, just try a lying and shit. Happened. But yeah, if I was Corey Kenshin Kyo, I would have just been like, uh, and saw the culprit making late their preparations. Night carpentry? Like I would have just played it off for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. Like if Angie walks in on me doing something like that like cutting the floorboard, I would have just played it off. I didn't kill anybody yet. Like so what if she At snitches? Point, the culprit I'll just say had I didn't kill anybody. The setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Like yeah, I was planning to kill somebody but I didn't kill anybody. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. I know, like I'm just being, like I'm just trying to argue the point of like Corey ending up killing Angie. What I'm trying to say is I know he wanted to use the seesaw trick so bad and that's why he killed Angie. Any other well, person might have just, just given you know, up. He just threw that plan away. Culprit. But instead, like I said, he caught two bodies. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. She was in the perfect position to the bleed did underneath not the floorboard give up too. on their plan and had to improvise. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. I feel like doing that, that though, it would pull more hair than it did when they found the tape. Lab. Like she would have been like one fourth bald if she was actually, you know, duct tape like that around the head. But hey, you know what? It's a While video she game. Was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. Like, I would be bald as shit if somebody wrapped duct tape like that around my head. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked the front door from inside and took out the katana they brought from their own lab. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. My guy was ambitious. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this to overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the key to locking the room. That's so far-fetched though. The culprit though. stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. Like, I don't know what was more ridiculous. This part right here, the katana used to lock the door by spinning the effigy around, or the seesaw trick. I don't know which one was more ridiculous. They're both were goddamn ridiculous though. That's a fact. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. I mean, I guess, you know, I guess. <laughs> Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Like, I wonder if somebody played this game and then tried to do this in real life. Not with like a Kaede effigy or anything. But I'm just saying the they tried to the lock a door using a spinning thing. Lock, locking the door. A difficult trick. But remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. Yeah, but even look at the effigy right here. It's higher than the lock. Like, you would have to have the perfect angle for the handle to hit the lock. Like, if you just look at it from right here, just look at it from right there, the katana is way above the lock. The How's it going to hit it? also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. I guess, yeah. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Very Perhaps crucial the clue. noticed it. But by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Unless they knew how to lockpick. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. They wanted more. 
He said, but wait, there's more. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. That was actually pretty clever. The whole seance thing. Not not the seesaw trick, the but the seance thing rooms, and planning the, the whole murder for it. That was actually really seance. clever. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. But it was basically like the target to make sure the target was in position. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. I was that sad when Tenko died. was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. I actually thought the iron dog statue was so heavy that the sound that they heard during the seance was the iron dog statue like falling to the ground or going through the iron cage and crushing Tenko. That's what I thought it was. To drape the white cloth over the iron cage. <laughs> like I was like, oh shit, time. somebody got but crushed. That was a deliberate decision by the culprit. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. They had to do that really slick like too. To hide the sickle underneath the cloth the when you take the off the cloth from the cage. They secretly placed the sickle. That's some magician shit. Finally, four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. Yeah, I thought the wooden statue was so heavy that it crushed Tanko. The That's the sound that I thought the it was. Of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. Began singing that song. Hi, uh, 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 uh. I forgot how it goes, you know. I don't know the words, but I know how to lip sync. Look in at Kokichi. Darkness, All into it. Stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. Bro swears. He swears he's about to get that recording contract. Look at Himiko too. Hands clasped. <laughs> what are you talking about? Acting like shit sweet. Finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. But our culprit had another plan. To commit a murder in the darkness. Shuichi definitely has that look while he's singing like, what the hell am I doing? This is a load of barnacles. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. They had to do that real it quick. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. I know he really made them sing the longest song ever they while he was the killing. lines of the magic Savage. circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. I like that little effect right there. It says, Sst. And when <laughs> sound the like a silent fart. The center of the circle. Sst. They found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. Surprised Tango didn't even make any noise. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw. Like she was really committed to the ritual. Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Because Cory Kenshin Kyo said, "Do not make a sound." By the sickle and she the committed. The cage. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. Yeah, it's sad that Tenko died. I like what she said near the end. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. And I like that she didn't give in to the whole Atua situation with the student council. Finished the ritual and had us light the candles. Like she wanted to save we Himiko and get her out of there. And remove the equipment used for the seance. And discover Tenko's body. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle. Nobody would have heard the sickle drop the though? Floor, through the hole in the corner of the room. You know, since the tip is metal, would have had like a clank sound, like clink clink. The magic salt thing and everybody stepping on it, that was really clever. The final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. Like they were unintentionally the getting rid of evidence. The had the murder so that we would oh. unintentionally destroy some evidence. He said it. You know, that evidence he said it. was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. 
That's the thing about playing this already. Sometimes you repeat some of the things that they say. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. Mm -hmm. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Yep. Did anybody have any doubt? Seriously, let me know in the comments. Gucci, even though I'm not reading the, the comments. Ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit. Yep, he's the culprit. We knew it. Like it was the most obvious culprit ever out of any Dongan Robot trial. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. I actually thought it couldn't be him because it was so obvious. <laughs> Sweet Kurekio. There are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Please? Uh, admit? Yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret, my only regret, was not being able to make 100 friends. 100 friends? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. That's a cute dream. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. W what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Roger that. One voting time coming up. The heart racing excitement as... The heart racing excitement. As the black and in the spotless finally face off. It's voting. All right. Well, we already know who it is. We knew it from the get-go. So, we are going to vote for Cory Kenshin Kyo. I love this voting screen. The presentation for the third Danganronpa game is so good. Oh, excuse me. Danganronpa V3. I know a lot of people are strict about that, right? If I call it Danganronpa 3, people are going to be like, has finished. let me correct it, Jay. Let's see the Slow result. down there, buckaroo. What did I get after doing this trial for A again? I got an A for the second time? Bro, I at least got to get an S. A as in, are you shitting me, dude? Wow, seriously? You're correct again. Absolutely Amazing. Right. This is the third correct verdict in a row. All right. So, what can I say? If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. Hey. How's this going to last that long? Da, da, da. For now, it's finally over. No. No, not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kia, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tanko? Right. Yeah. He no need to kill them both, no matter what motive he have. Oh? Motive? Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did that trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaito? Shut up! Shut up! I never said I was scared! <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? I... Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. What? So it has nothing to do with the motive? Yeah. Then, why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear, someone I long for. I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Yes. We vowed an endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. Hey, YouTube, don't demonetize me. I know that the person he's holding got more cakes than a bakery, no but come on now. Anyone says. Like, you gotta relax, YouTube. It's just lines. It's just drawing, you know, it's just a few lines. Bragging about your perfect love life? F you. Some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> So to see this lover of yours, you had to escape. Don't tell me. That's why you killed Angie and Tanko. But why did you need to kill both? <laughs> if you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. 
No one will want a disgusting sh- Oh, come on, Kokichi. Whoa, what the what? Hey! Kyo, who is it? Who's this person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> um, when I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see, I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? Okay, before I continue, I just want to let you all know my genuine reaction to that. So when he said sister, I was like, <laughs> I was like, your sister? Bro, not even stepsister, like sister, sister, like we share the same DNA, sister. Wait. Don't look at me. I'm not a sister. Right. Well, duh. If you were a sister, he would have killed himself Wait. already. Your sister, but didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. <laughs> it is not that difficult. My sister is my lover. Yeah, I was kind of like, yo, come on, I dog. I loved her so deeply. Come on, dog. Like, my face, I was like, she loved me come so on, deeply. Dog. Like, are you kidding we me, dog? Siblings meant nothing to us. They that's, called it forbidden that's, love. That's, but none could stop the love we shared. That's something. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Bro, I don't even like giving my sister a hug when I say goodbye, and this dude grabbing cheeks, bro. This dude grabbing cheeks, talking about warmth and being inside. For and my beloved sister. Saying. That is why. For my beloved sister, I had to. Always mess around. You had to around. escape from here, right? No. No. I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost. So her friend should be ghost too, right? For my beloved for sister's sister... Sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. <laughs> they were all wonderful people. Worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. <laughs> sister is very happy. Yes. Yes, Kori Kyo. I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. What? Could it be that the lipstick version of Kyo is... I am Korekio's older am... sister. Yeah, you are. Thank you for looking after my little brother. What? What the hell? Yes. After I lost my beloved sister... I was so distraught, I nearly went mad. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. <laughs> now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Korekio. That's wonderful, Korekio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is this really a spirit? I told you. He's just delusional. <laughs> What a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. Ew. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you, know. you said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here? What was that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? You didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Unacceptable. Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? Only girls? I see. So when we were deciding on who should be the medium... Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Uh, you um, said it would work best with a girl. I... I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Miu, they were all worthy. All worthy of being sister's friends. Yeah. All worthy? Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, not like I care. Then... Then the second victim could have been me? Uh, Tinko died in place of me? Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone else that Angie's spirit should go in. No, I'll do it. Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I have studied many people. 
Uh, yes, she stood up against be? the darkness of the school by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Well. Though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too. Eventually. No way! What? You do all that for? Mm. Wow. You did all that just to kill. For you to go that far? That's pretty impressive. Wow. You were interested in the caged child, just so you could use it to kill someone, right? Let's see. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course. But more than that, for my beloved I to kill sister. For sister, I can't deny that overpowering feeling. Are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? You look kind of pale. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. Mm. Allow me to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However, but Angie walked in on me preparing, and I ended up killing her a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else, too. <laughs> After all, you would be ashamed to just waste a seance trick I prepared. What is that? You're talking like you killed her just because you could. Mm. No, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. Koreikyo. Koreikyo, you're such a thoughtful little brother, but it was bad to get greedy. Oh, dear. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send 100 friends to sister. <laughs> Do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Kori Kyo's crime. I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. Why? That right? Killing two friends for your dead sister? But how? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I am always by Kori Kyo's side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. <sighs> Cut it out already. What was I that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing makes sense. It's not fair. Why did Angie and Teiko have to die for something so unfair? Well... Because death is unfair. <laughs> and another All thing. deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? <laughs> because everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game? <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. If people were watching this... Shut up! Knock off the bullshit! Only sick freaks would enjoy watching this. You got me! Hell yeah! If I wasn't in this killing game, I would have had so much fun watching! So then... <laughs> the nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. But my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. Sister. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. I was unable to send her 100 friends, but at least I can see her again now. Korekio. It's all right, sweet Korekio. Come to me. Oh. Looks like you're already prepared. Now then, let's get started. It's, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time. Huh? Punishment time. Sister. My beloved sister. At long last, I'll finally get to see you again. That's right. Yes, from now on, no one will try to stop us. We can be together without having to hide our love from others. What? Wait, I can't accept this. Therefore, like I said, there's no such thing as a death that can be accepted. From an anthropologist. Why do you think so many different cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? Yes. The living must find a reason, however forced, to accept death when it happens. How you come to terms with death also determines how you live, yes? What was that? What? I... That was the answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces death? Now then, I prepared I a special prepared a punishment for the ultimate anthropologist, Kore Kiyoshinguji. I shall observe. I will watch over you all as a ghost. As your friend, I will watch over you. That's right. It won't just be me and Kori Kiyo. All those who died will be watching. I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your friends. Humanity I'll be watching is beautiful. forever and ever. It's punishment time! You heard the bear, folks. It is punishment time, ladies and gentlemen. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because this should be a good one. That's what I thought when this all happened the first time. But let me look at it again. And let me try to see it for what it is. And not just like in the moment type of thing like I did the first time. Alright. So he's kind of hanging upside down like the effigies that he did. Cultural melting pot of the ultimate anthropologist. Dude getting spun around. Okay, you spin me right round type shit. 
I actually thought he was gonna throw up. And like, I don't know. Like his head was gonna burst open. But, no. He just got spun around a little bit. Okay. Drop into the melting pot. Bowed alive like, um, that one girl with the cones on her head from Danganronpa 2. Forgot her name, though. Like, this is why I'm so disappointed that I have to re-record this. Because I wanted to give you all my genuine reactions. Because when Monodam did that, I was like, no! Like, I was wondering which one of the Mono Cubs was going to take the L. And it was Monodam. And now my dude is a little ghost. A little floater. Yeah, that's why I was so disappointed that I couldn't use the first recording. Bro and Sis reunited. I guess. But my guy says, Saws, hi! He says, Saws, hi! Wait, I didn't even notice that his sister's ghost was still in Saw 2! That's actually badass! I didn't even notice that the first time! See, this is why I'm glad I watched it the second time, actually. Because, you know, Monokuma's controlling everything in this execution, and Cory Kenshin Kyo seeing his sister throw the saw on him. That's the ultimate F you. What? How gory! No! Monodam! Why? <laughs> what the? Be? To think my cute child would commit suicide? Yay! Oh, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute that he would kill himself because he couldn't get along. <laughs> Monodam committed suicide? Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Monodam obsessed over getting along was because everyone but me bullied him. That's right. Yes, the other Monocubs drove him to suicide, but not me. Hey. Hey, uh, who's Monodam? Eh? Huh? You already forgot? That's kind of scary. Well, now. Well, looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident, so... I'm gonna take back this here Necronomicon. <laughs> Seems like a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? You guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Shut up! You. How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told you. Ignore him. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> well, who can say? Hmm. What a waste. If none of you were gonna use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um. Which one? Eh? Well, I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Hmm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just been the two of us this whole time. Oh, yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> too bad. So long. Oh, later, Farewell. gang. Half the gang. Like two-fifths of the gang. Uh, um, Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing Man, around. this is stupid. What people believe is up to them, but... Living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course! The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what! <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Shut up! Leave me alone! But... But there's one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but... <laughs> there isn't after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are the best weapons we have. Go to do his best. Then go to do his best to keep everyone safe. Go to want to protect everyone. Um, but your talent is entomology. <sighs> I don't want Shuichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. You're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you going to use that, huh? Okay. I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. It may not be possible now. But I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Maki. <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling as a killer shows? <laughs> don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. Got a minute? I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh, oh you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner. Especially not after losing seven people. You're right. Only nine people left now. <laughs> well, what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. That's right. Seven pieces of shit have been flushed away, and only nine remain. Actually... By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But... Just... Nine of us. Well, you know... Humans are like weeds. Too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. 
shit. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? How rude. No, I am not thinking that. Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. But you know. But hey, none of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on a god, spirits, or the dead. I believe in Just you. you guys. I believe in all of you. Okay. Kaito. Well, of course. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hey, hey. Hold up. Keyboy needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. Hmm. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting. Yank your head off and smash it into the ground with all your strength. Got that? No way. I have never heard of such an intense form of apology. It seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. You alright? Himiko? You okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. Hey. I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh. Oh, Gonta understand. You're so dumb. God, Himiko is such a liar. Huh? Huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it. You wouldn't have any free will if the world was comprised with just the truth. But... But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? Right? What are you saying? Thinking about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Nuh uh I only said this because I thought about it. Because? Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey! Hey! What are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back? <laughs> Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. <laughs> Tanko, Angie, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely without you two. But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without the both of you. Himiko. Damn it. <laughs> Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. The tears we shed, I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, there weren't any tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. It's good to cry sometimes. Crying is an emotion. Doesn't make you weak or anything. It's just an emotion. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However, is she hard to carry, Gonta? No, she fine. She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya! There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman after all. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Hmm? Huh? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. Huh? Are you sure? Well... Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. <sighs> you worried about me? <sighs> yeah, worried about your stupidity. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? But... Maybe not. But I feel like the walls we had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Got it. Yeah, because of me. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe, but you sound like you're bragging, Kaito. Huh. Yeah, but like I said, 
I'm gonna get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Sure. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. Yeah. See you tomorrow. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. Damn it! I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. No way. All right, that was it. That was the whole recording that I actually already went through. I don't know why he was coughing up blood, but coughing up blood is never a good sign. Never has coughing up blood ever been a good sign. So, just because of my mess up with the whole audio of the first time I recorded it, I'm going to give you all the next episode as soon as I can. We don't have to hit 50,000 likes on this video. Just hopefully that you enjoyed it. I will upload the next video as soon as I can. If you all enjoyed this video, though, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.